last week I did what you call it was a, it was a week that involved lightweight training where I exercised using lightweights uh, and maximized on the reps. So this got me thinking. You see, is lightweight training an effective way to build muscle? Cause my aim is to build muscle. So that is the question that I wanted to answer. I did some research and uh, coupled up uh, that research with what I've experienced over the years and uh, this is what this video is going to be all about. So why are we doing heavy weights, why are we doing light weights? It's to build muscle. That is, that is the main aim of why I'm going to the gym. I want to get from 76 to 80 and through building muscle. And what what brings about building muscle so there's a term called muscle hypertrophy and uh, in simple terms muscle hypertrophy means increase in muscle mass yeah so whenever you see whenever you see somebody who's very well built getting from where he was to where he's at now where his body is built the person has been able to achieve that through muscle hypertrophy and what is the science behind muscle hypertrophy so i did some research and found out that muscle hypertrophy is when you do your reps to failure and at that point of failure that is when muscle hypertrophy uh, occurs what what causes muscle to grow is when the muscle tissue in your body is broken down you see and muscle tissue is broken down when you do as many reps as possible until the cells within your muscle break down and then when they regenerate they regenerate back stronger and bigger which causes your muscle to grow so now lightweights and muscle hypertrophy do those two combined so so long as you do your reps to failure it doesn't matter whether it's heavy weights or lightweight so long as you do your reps to failure and in this case, when you use lightweight, you'll have to do a lot of reps in order to get to that failure point. That is when muscle hypertrophy occurs, which leads to muscle growth. Okay? Now, that, that sounds really easy, that sounds really encouraging. But then, is it possible to do that in real life? Is it something that is sustainable in real life? So, lightweight, high reps failure then muscle hypertrophy occurs now according to my research in order to get to that failure using lightweights you have to really do a lot of reps so mine if you look at the exercises that i did last week i used a, a range of up to 20 reps per set yeah and to be honest the part that i was not shooting i had to rest then do it again because it was mentally straining it was it was it required a lot of patience and you know people normal we human beings patience is not our strong sutra they say patience is a virtue i mean i think patience is a gift so imagine you have to to be able to get to that muscle hypertrophy for an average person like you and me if you're using very light weights you have to go for reps ranging from 40 to 50 reps per set Problem is, however, however, however good, it's easy to carry lightweights, and also it's very effective because we'll be in form. But sustaining the 40 to 50 uh, reps is something that most people cannot do. So maintaining and sustaining that is based on experience and what I've watched happening. It's 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 not an effective way, yeah. But before we judge and uh, we say it's not the way to go. Are there benefits, especially associated with lifting light weights and uh, going for high reps? So I found some five advantages or benefits of lifting light and uh, I am going to share it with you. And then from there we can be able to weigh and see what works, if this is a way to go or should we take another route. So. Number one, a lightweight training decreases injuries. Things like muscle, uh, muscle strains and even complete muscle tears are more likely to happen to you while lifting heavy weights, which is not the case 
in lightweights. Number two, muscle targeting is easy using lightweights. Yeah? You can be able to achieve full range of motion while doing your workouts with lightweights and in proper form, which ends up targeting the right muscle. Number three, high hypertrophic gains. When using lightweights, your targeted muscles are able to manage the load by themselves because it's easier, which prevents them from relying on compensatory muscles to assist in movement. This in turn leads to more hypertrophic gains in the muscle that you want to target. Number four, to be able to perform more reps, you require more effort, especially when the going starts getting hard. This effort in turn equates to more muscle growth. So the more ma effort you put, the more you burn the muscle cells in your body or in a specific area, and that leads to failure, which then leads to muscle growth. Okay? So those are the four benefits. I thought there were five, but they are the four benefits you might gain. There are many others. You go research. I just chose the ones that I think are very important and decided to share them with you. So if you are as stubborn as me, then uh, you, you'd want to use the lightweights in your training. So if, if I'm going to do it, uh, how would I do it? For me, I've decided to divide my, my month into four. So each week I'm going to concentrate on a specific kind of training. If I'm going to do heavy weights, I do it for one week. Then the, the next week I do lightweight week, I do lightweight training. Then the, the next week I do medium weight training and then I have a transitional kind of a week where it's more of a break from the rest of what I've done and then I go back to starting again from zero. So that is what I'm going to do. How you, de how you decipher this information and how you decide and what you decide to do with it is going to be best on you. If you have any comments uh, with regards to this uh, video that I've just done, make sure to leave it on the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it because it will help enrich the conversation. If you have any additional point or maybe any correction that you think somewhere might need some improvement in the video, maybe I've not covered on something, just make sure to leave it on the comment section below and uh, I will reply and be grateful to it. Other than that, Thank you for watching this episode and see you in the next episode.